Happy January guys, Matt Griffiths here with JD and Matchroom Boxing bringing you a brand new series called Rounds in the Bank. So we're going to be bringing you one episode every week throughout the month of January. All these circuits are done by professional boxers. See how you compare up to a professional athlete and let us know how you get off. Right guys, I'm joined by Lee Woods, WBA featherweight champion of the world. We're going to be doing a circuit that is inspired by something that you were doing camp, am I correct? Yep, last night I did a very similar circuit, a few slightly different things, but um, on the whole pretty much identical to what I did. But this is something that everyone at home can easily follow up. For sure, yeah, you know, intensity is based on itself, how hard you push, so the fitter you are, the more you can push. Let's get on with it then. Let's do it. Okay, so first of all, got this old bike. Very good to get the heart rate up, obviously using your arms and your legs. Um, the demand for oxygen is here, so your heart's working really hard. Um, straight to punches, burpees, bow ropes, bench jumps, and rows. Press the rows, okay? Okay, off we go. So with this, you really want to work as hard as you can with your arms and your legs. Push. Get, get your breath back. Yeah. I mean, those, those are sort of bikes to take it out, so yeah. They do the same. heart nice and high, straight, pretty quick. Punch and try, keep these shoulder high or above. And if it's slow, you still, your arms, your shoulders are still working, keeping the weight elevated. Burpees. If you're not a sit with the burpees, you can catch a bit of a rest. When you go up, down, arms out, big jump. If you're not a sit, you can have a bit of a rest. Yeah, a little bounce. <laughs> Same with these. You can pace yourself. Be short, short, and sharp. Wide and big. Get your rest. So if you really want to push yourself on them, you're keeping it really short, short fast. and fast, yeah. Box jumps. Put your hand in the elevated bit. Suck your back when it's low. Same thing, if you want to rest, have a little bounce. Or we'll go straight off if you want to look more intense. like a frog. <laughs> Last one. Same way as you can pace it. Yeah. Speed. Yeah, see I'm like a lump. <laughs> I'll probably fall over the bench. With this it's quite key to have your feet wide and mm -hmm. short. Feet short. We've got the tripod balance. So that's what I've got to do. Ready, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. so. you got a minute rest. Got a minute rest. Yep. So I guess, if someone wants to do this at home or in their own gym, yep. all they really need is these bits of equipment. If they yeah, didn't have sure. an assault bike, is there anything they could switch it out for? Maybe like a, a skier always, yeah. or a rower? Always alternatives. Um, even jumping, mm -hmm. squat jumps, bunny hops to squat jumps and back. Anything's going to get your heart rate raised. Um, Row is another one. Even skipping as well. Even skipping, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And then bare fees, like, I mean, Is there anything you can substitute bare fees with? Because you know, I hate yeah. bare fees. I hate them. Um, like I said with the the assault bike, because your oxygen demands massive for your legs and your arms. That's why heart rate gets so high. Same with the bare fees, you're making contact with your arms. 
pushing off your legs, that's why it's such a good exercise. Mm -hmm. There is alternatives, but that is a very good exercise. <laughs> you ready then? Right, all right. So what? Uh, flat out for 20 seconds, yeah? yeah. Are you ready? Four. Let's go. Okay. My lungs are on I fire. Yeah. There's two ones. Who else wants to go? Who else wants it off? I think. I think we should get Edward to this one. Yeah. Oh god. I'll push self for sure. Five rounds. Like you said, bro. Don't don't jump yourself in the in the deep end because sometimes, especially in January, people come back from not doing a lot over Christmas. They try to do too much and it puts them off the gym. They go and think, oh, I don't want to go because in the head, they remember how challenging it was. Start steady and then come so you get your ground where your, your base level there and you can always push a little bit more if you want to or you can just go in and, and get the job done there. Exactly what you're saying there, especially with people that are going back to just have to take a time off. They think, oh, I used to be able to do far, but far. That's it. It's like to start slow, start with show, build yourself slowly, slowly increase it. That and you get the best out of it. And times a week you go as well. Some people will jump into the gym, try to do five sessions a week. Just start with two or three. Two, build your way up. Oh, for sure, for sure. Even as athletes, we do that as well, so. Come on, see. I'm blowing. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Wicked me. Pleasure, pleasure. Oh, that needs to be awesome. Oh, that's kind of Hope you've enjoyed that episode, guys, and you got a good sweat on. Don't forget to join us next week and carry it on. Let's go. Thank you.